What rolls downstairs, alone or in pairs, and over your neighbor's dog? What's great for a snack and fits on your back? It's log, log, log. It's log, it's log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's log, it's log. It's better than bad, it's good. Everyone's a log. You're gonna love it, log. Come on and get your log. Everyone needs a log. Log, log, log. Wow. So I'm Dan, do the whole song. and I'm Nick, folks. We're old friends dissecting one topic at a time. People, technology, media, we've got it all covered. Log from Blamo. Each discussion here is a deep dive into our unique perspective. The taboo, forbidden subjects, they're all on the chopping block, baby. We don't pander to popular opinion, we might even get a little bit dirty. Warning, this podcast may contain mature language and sexual content, and is for infotainment purposes only. So join us. Have a good time. Open up your ear holes. We're going to fondle your follicles. <sighs> Welcome back. I'm Dan. I'm Nick, folks. And we're going to cover construction materials, including wood. Granite, wood, metal, marble, granite, garble, mud, quartz, earth, quartzite, shale, slate. We're going to talk about, holy shoot. Is there anything specific that you want to cover? We're going to talk about granite and marble as far as how they look in countertops and the pricing for different levels. We'll get there. <laughs> if you'd like to buy some granite and marble. Oh, wait a second. Uh, go. Not anymore. <laughs> Number one salesman in the entire company for the month of April. It'd be funny if we had a, uh, uh, an unpanders code for your old job that made more money than you did. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. <laughs> uh, best salesman of the year. Internet Coupon code. code <laughs> F yourself. Bring it to my job right there in KOP and we will honor it for 90% discount folks. Un- That's a un- 90% yours. Un- yours. That's good. <laughs> I like that actually. Yeah. Extremely hard to say. I would like to cover please how important wood is and where is it going? Why can't we just all get along? That's what I would like to cover. Good. Where, where do you want to begin? Um, building. When did building begin? Um, the earliest part of man? Holy crap. Did you research this? No. I, I <laughs> literally typed in building and man and like the – they're like people surmised that humans were building since the earliest, the earliest part of human civilization. Well, like, we don't have written records. We don't have anything to record anything. Yeah. It's not like classic so, like fire so caves. So hold on. The writings How did inside it start? caves. It's you raining. Caves. It's wet. No one likes right. to be wet. You, you, but that's a cave. Like, it's already built. You can etch so caves. When we start building. I, think so like, I guess you can make them deeper. Yeah, like uh, New Mexico. I think it's like Bandelier. Like, those people, like, okay. like there's a little bit of a dig, like dugout area. We're going to just chip away at it until we have houses in this cave wall. Yeah, it makes sense. It's pretty badass. That's how you do it in Minecraft. Uh-huh. Minecraft is really, it really civilization. It touches on life. It's civilization. I mean, because you don't have anything until you have it's, shelter it's and some tools. It's very alpha. <laughs> it's you not got, alpha. What's alpha about it? You got to keep going. You can't stop. You need materials. You need to consume. You need is that to what eat. Alpha is? No, I was not checking you can't the score stop. of the basketball game. You can't stop. Can't hmm. stop. Interesting. Feeling. Can't stop. Yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> Beach. So, hmm. first first house, oldest known surviving buildings, that doesn't count. Does hmm. it? First built? Yeah, it does because it's a building. 40, whoa, 4,800 BC, 5,000 BC, 7,000 years ago ish. Not shabby. Yeah. Still standing. It's. Is it like, is it an open plan? Like, what kind of a design are we talking? Are we talking like a rancher? Did they do two story? Is windows? Is there a lot of light? Light is important to it kinda, a house. It, really it kind of makes me feel like stop attacking us. We're going to build this wall. <laughs> it's essentially just a wall with yeah. something over top of it. I think they built one wall and they're like, they can get around. So he's like, 
Let's just let's do the other make three sides. One. Make another one. <laughs> we need another wall over here. <laughs> Again, Minecraft. It is. So shelter becomes the number one reason. Okay. Then there's like privacy for when you're plowing your mm-hmm. dumb cave woman wife. I mean, relatively dumb <laughs> to us now because, well, they could have been smart back then. You don't really know. It's not like they'd be on the same plane, but they could. That's a good point. I was I was actually making the joke that all cave people were dumb, not women or men. I was pretending to be sexist. I don't know if anyone caught that. But you do raise an interesting point. We don't know how smart the people are. They could have been incredibly smart for for the age. Like that you'd probably you'd been. probably be a dumbass. They'd be like catching fish out of a river with their bare hands and you'd be like, What the hell is this? And you'd be starving <laughs> and they'd just be laughing. Look at this idiot. It's a good point, because there's <laughs> different we qual we quantify uh, intelligence differently than they would. Like obviously at our tests they'd be bad at them. Yeah. But this idiot doesn't know algebra. Ha ha ha. But he can build his own yeah. Crappy wall out of nothing with no tools. That's pretty impressive. I bet he'd be, he could be in the middle oh, of a forest and like he could hear a little sound and know exactly what mm-hmm. it is and where it's coming from. And That's a good point. It's a, it's a kind of intelligence. Mm-hmm. So what we're talking at here is building the builder of the group. Um, architect. A little bit. Is that like the first architects? Yeah, I, you can tell there's a plan to these buildings, like the ancient buildings. There's definitely a so method. What, what even what even drives an architect? I can't even fathom that because I'm not. I'm the I'm anti architect. I just live in places. I don't ever have desire to furnish, build, or make a home mine. It's not in my DNA. It so really I, isn't. I get this. you're in between. You get your I was, in this kind of surprised me because we had an episode on luxury and like winning a lottery. Mm-hmm. And then for me, it's like, I want to design oh, my do. own complex and like figure out like the optimal whatevers, like how you would interact with what you're using. So it's all about for me interacting with the tool or a function, which happens to be a house and like easiest path from A to B to C and how you would use all those things in a different like weight. Not to change subject. Did you, um, you design the house you live in now? I built it. You had it. I right, had built. Well, you didn't yeah. build it. You had it built. Yeah, but like you, build how much input? Me. Yeah. How much input and did I you have? I paid them a like... lot of money <laughs> that I didn't have. <laughs> did you, but I mean, did you? I selected the optimal choices for what I thought my lifestyle would be. Was it, um, here's your options. What do you want? Is it, um, free plan? You can do whatever you want. Pay us? Is it? How it's did, like you how have did like uh, maybe a dozen options that you can select to improve, okay. and some of them are really expensive. So a lot of them right. I tried to actually cut, and anything that was like reasonably priced, when you're building a house, they actually tack on like maybe two or three times the cost of whatever it is, and then do they? Why? Because the couldn't you? Well, think of this though. Couldn't wouldn't it cost to redo them? Like, do you know what I mean? So let's say you get option A because B is the one you really wanted, but it was three times as much. So you bought A and then you're like, okay, well, as soon as I get in my house, I'm going to redo it anyway. I'm going to redo the wiring or I'm going to re break down this wall. Isn't it going to cost you the same anyway? So you can select the undo some building. Like the carpet, we picked the cheapest carpet because half of it we knew we were going to rip up and put tile down. The tile was like four times as expensive as what we put down. But you couldn't select the tile originally? I'm just curious. But the cost of the tile would be folded into the house, and then they tax you on the house. So you're paying not uh, only – So you're paying the interest is what you're talking about. Yeah, you're paying more and then being taxed on it, 3% for indefinite. But you say you're, – you're talking about paying more. Was it actually more? It literally was more, yeah. Oh, OK. Well, I never bought a house mm-hmm. and never built one and did something like that. Yeah. So you realize you could do it better yourself or through a contractor or whoever, and you were just like – yeah. And I want to pay interest on it, whatever yeah. the, the housing market. Okay. The base stuff is so not bad. Let's, so. That's fine. This all makes sense. We'll come back to this. So let's rewind a little bit. Architects want to build or want to shelter themselves or they want to see something that they can so – outlives. My sister and my, like, uh, my brother-in-law are both architects. Okay. They have a passion for figuring out – like how people lived and then the things that persisted. This is almost like our previous episode. <laughs> That's why it's funny. It ties into it. <laughs> so they have a passion. We also for want to make something that, that lasts longer than a meal or lasts longer than a beer or lasts longer than a, 
it lasts it lasts fairly long. Or like efficiency, like lead design. Lead is a uh, Oh, like, I wasn't even going with efficiency. L E D E. L E E D I think. It's uh like okay. a green building. It uses less power than most. It's like good uh uh green isolation. What do you call it? Insulation. Okay. So you lose less uh to the environment. Heat, cold, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Carbon then, emissions. Et cetera, also et cetera. like the materials you use, like it's it's changing. And the way you use them is like an efficient way of distributing like the strength of a building. Like certain times you can build it in a certain way to save materials and be just as spacious and strong as mm -hmm. another building that is wasteful. Thrifty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What's your favorite word for that? Value. All about value. All about value. Value. Per square foot. So let's rewind a little bit. We did talk about the first builders, what drives builders. Wood obviously becomes the like kind of the number one choice right off the bat. So this is kind of interesting from like a war perspective. So like China, they didn't really have a navy. China. 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 The country. China. Yep. Because they didn't yep. have any trees. Like they didn't have. They had very little trees. Enough. Right. Yeah. Per person. They had a. They had a navy at a time, but not for a long time. Like they had a little in the beginning. So like versus like Britain, who had a lot of a lot of trees, they had a huge very navy. much so a huge over. navy, one of the greatest navies. Yeah, that's right. Source of the power for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was kind of an interesting thing that uh, I forget who it was. There was a guy that recognized the value of trees, and he went along the countryside like Johnny Appleseed, uh, planting. I think it was oaks, like whatever they used for their ships. The oak sounds about right. I could he, be wrong, but he was planning right. like generations ahead so that they would have ships and be able to build a navy, a fleet that could protect their island. Hmm. Um. Was he Chinese? Is that why you brought that up? No, because um, like China has a problem oh, now. Okay. So like they you would, can't. they can't sustain the wood, the need for wood. <laughs> yeah. Would you say there's the the Chinese need wood? And someone has to give it to them? Yes. I would say that. You would, wouldn't you? But, like, their structures are mostly concrete. So, like, China, when they're in the, oh, they're, I guess they're in the midst of a boom, they're using up concrete at a massive scale because they don't have natural resources. Or... What is what is concrete, again? Uh, stone and lime. It's cement? And, yeah. Or is cement... A concrete mix. I think it's cement and stone and water, aggregate, rock, sand, or gravel. Aggregate, rock, yeah, yeah. Cement. Cool. So then what is cement? It's a binding agent. Can you make anything out of cement? I don't know that I could define I cement in a way that will make us happy on this podcast. <laughs> It will make us sad. It will ruin our days. Ah, it's, cement. it's weird. It's not really a thing. Dude, like so, anything we walk on, anything we walk on is um concrete, essentially. I think so. Well, what about when a sign says wet cement? Is that just cement, or is that really concrete? And they're just calling it cement. So I'm getting real deep here. The, so the, uh, Google saves us here. Although terms, the terms cement and concrete often are used interchangeably. Cement is exactly. actually an ingredient of concrete, which I mentioned already. I, I'm actually the one who brought it up, but uh, let's keep let's keep uh, on. Sure. Let's not. Uh, I understand. We can rewind. People at home rewind. Not knowledge so you here. mentioned it. Concrete is basically a mixture rewind. of aggregates and paste. First includes cement. So hmm. China using up all of their. Trees. Concrete. They didn't have natural building materials, so they'll sure. they'll use up more concrete than like any other nation when they're expanding. God bless them. Yeah. There's a lot of people there. They're saying I think last estimate I heard was one million people live in China. One million. You imagine that? That's more than a thousand. Anyway, keep going. Yeah. Or they're so like it's becoming a, a like a, a sought after resources for the, like them. So they're actually going into like the Amazon. And like providing Brazil with like materials so that they can strip the Amazon, the greatest rainforest on earth, F deforestation. F We've always hated the Chinese here on this podcast, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, I think maybe. <laughs> and when you say me, <laughs> just you, really. Yeah. I think I think they're great people. 
that is a bit of practice, but this also comes with overpopulation, people. Um, the need for resources, consumerism. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the first one and the most logical one is wood for various reasons, though. Wood floats. You touched on it earlier. That's wild, isn't it? Yeah. It's but that's really wild. Concrete? Does that float? You making any concrete boats? Yeah, you can. Can you? That was one of the challenges in the engineering college I went to is that you build a, a boat out of concrete and then you sail so it. So what do you have to do? Fill it with something? Uh, I think they use like the lightest concrete possible. And then what? And there has to be another agent There's like a in structural there that... a, like aspect to it, to like gaming it. Oh, so like, that, it's, like if it's flat enough? Yeah, the way it's flared it's out. out. The weight is, okay, that yeah, makes sense. It's the distribution. Interesting. Distribution of weight, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Glad I knew what I was talking about, but you knew the proper term. Oh, that's okay. It's almost like you deserve more money than me in your career because you know the terms. <laughs> I know nothing, but I can talk as a mean storm and make a bunch of money. Listen, uh, I'm back. So Oops. that comes to like materials, like strength of materials, like wood is one of those like fibrous materials that was actually a living thing. So it's kind of an interesting like form of strength. Like if you had like recently I pulled up a shrub. I mentioned this in the last episode that oh, yeah. living breathing wood was son of a bitch to pull up. Uh -huh. Actually really tough, hard when it, it's a living thing. It's, it's held it. together in a weird way. It's tenuous. It's tenderness. It's it fights back. Sinewy. It, yeah, it's it, almost like it, it didn't want to die together. Yeah. Um, aren't you glad that you're the dominant uh, I guess organism on this planet imagine if you were stuck in one place necessarily. if I was wood or a tree life would pass differently for me yeah you probably wouldn't have gotten on a dirt bike and hurt yourself if you were wood I don't know trees are doing weird shit now <laughs> if I see a tree get on a dirt bike Oh my God! You just remind me of what I did. What's the statute of limitations of destruction of property? Uh, probably years. How many? I would throw three out there. Like so, ten's fine. <laughs> All right, me and my boys got really drunk at a certain school, and we um, they were building a new area on campus, and the only thing I remember is we were really drunk, and we hardly ever did this. It was a drinking incident. We picked up saplings that they had planted and picked them up and threw them. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's the, what's the statute of limitations? We didn't do this. I was joking. Um, it depends <laughs> on the state that you're in. Mostly six. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. Anyway, anyway, we threw those saplings as or far as years. we could and we were laughing and we were really drinking. Having a good old time. We picked up trees and threw them and ruined them. So... And that's kind of uh, an maybe. interesting thing that you bring up because a tree, when it's a sapling, it's not worth that much. But a tree that has been planted years ago, since trees can last hundreds of years, mm -hmm. like how much do you think that's worth? Because you can't recreate the tree that was there. If age. You, you can't recreate age. No. Mm -hmm. There was a person that was sued and they lost. Are you talking about the poisoning the tree? Uh, well, there is that. Was there? There's a. a I know that, Phoebe Judge. She listens yeah, to the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Everyone, check it out. She loves our podcast the most. The Ross this Perot that was donating to save the tree. He's one of the key figures or something. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. He had really large ears. Everyone else. <laughs> that was the big joke, right? As we were kids. Yeah, that was when we first came of age. I think we started to listen to the politics and stuff. It was big ear Ross Perot. That's but someone poisoned the tree, joke. and then the value of the tree, it was like the centerpiece of that college. I think it was Alabama. Yeah, I don't know if it was a college. It might have been. Um, either way, they um, either way they paid exorbitant amounts to all these doctorates, professors, tree professionals, like all these people to come out and check on the health of the tree and try and fix it. Oh, he found that it was a college. Auburn. It was Auburn it. tree. It was Auburn, but it was an Alabama fan who poisoned it. Oh, uh, uh, damn. Really? Yep. Ah, 101 to 80. What were we saying? Oh, God. It's going to annoy me so much. So the value of the tree is actually ridiculous. Like someone destroyed a single tree and it cost them $600,000. 
What? Six hundred thousand dollars for one tree. What tree? It was somebody's. It was on someone's property, and they chopped it down. And then, because who, of its age, its size, its value. There's actually laws on the books that say, <laughs> like, in Oregon, count the rings. Okay. Yeah, there's like in a Oregon? base value. There's Oregon? a base value for it's the Oregon, size type right? of trees. It's Oregon. Oregon. And then uh, Oregon. Oregon. That's what I said. Yeah. Oregon. Oregon. So there's actually a base cost on like the, the age of a tree, the type of the tree, the weight of the tree. So if you destroy a tree in, in certain states, there's actually arbor laws that say the arbor tree laws. costs Holy multiples shit, more. Awesome. It's like two or three times more than the standard in other states. Damn. So if you chop down multiple trees on other people's properties. I bet. You could be paying like millions of dollars in restitution. Like you can't take a tree and plant it there because that would cost an equal amount. That's ridiculous. It's expensive. So I got drunk four years ago Mm -hmm. and bought the best rated axe on Amazon. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, like like a $50 Trying out when you first got it. Swinging an axe is hard to actually chop down a tree. It takes forever. Oh, a tree. Holy crap. I have no idea. I've never done a tree. But I was going to say, I finally got to use it on this damn shrub, beating the hell out of it. I was axing the business out of it. You thought you were tough in the beginning, and then towards the middle, you're just like, oh, shit. No, no, no. I'm, I mean, everyone, look at me. I'm <laughs> in a physical and then he whatever. tied the tree to his axle and drove. And oh. I drove off. Yeah. But um, what I'm getting at is... I actually think I could chop down a tree. Hmm. It would take me so long. My God. I can't strong. imagine that. Yeah. A, they're tough. And B, the axe isn't huge. It was a $50 axe. It's not like it was a you know, $300 piece. <sighs> so is one of the... I forget where I was going with that. Yeah, I don't know where you're going with that either. But the strength of material, reason. like strength of wood, mm-hmm. is surprising. Same thing with the strength of like bone. Like really? Yeah, like an organic material. I think the compressive strength of bone is What's very high. What's compressive strength? So it's like if you're trying to like push something in on itself, it's very strong. Oh. Compression. Compression. Okay. Versus <gasps> what? I wasn't even looking at anything. The my things turn bright white every time I check on it. Oh, yeah, it does. I hope someone <laughs> on the feed understands how you're ignoring them and me. I'm not ignoring it. I was checking on the score of the game. It's the playoffs, baby, and it's swish time. This could be released like a year after they win the championship. I could be, watch- they could be watching the championship run hmm. live. Me. So if you didn't have wood, what would you be building with? What would your would house look brick. like? Use brick. Brick. So that's like a clay that's put in a furnace. Well, what? What actually? I was just about to ask that. Is that what happens with brick? Is it clay that's been shoved on fire, or is that something else? Oh, I said mix of clay. Hmm. What's crazy is that we um, we use mortar right between our bricks. Yep. Do you know there's a disorder called pica where you eat mortar or candles? I thought that was toilet paper. Or hair. Don't you eat any everything? Um, not everything. It's weird. Toilet paper might be on the list though. So there's like eight things that you eat or drink or whatever. Brick is actually sand, clay, lime, iron oxide, and magnesia. No shit. Or magnesium oh if there's more God. than one. Magnesium. It's yeah. always magnesium. So that's interesting. Sand and clay. Hold on a second. That's so weird. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw. Brick. And if not, I would build a house out of mud. Can you yeah, do that? Like an adobe. Mud only goes so high. A, a what? An adobe? You know nothing about construction. I'm surprised. There's certain topics where you just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> not, the don't, top, not the top podcast topic, just like in life. You're like. No, no, no. A hundred percent. I agree with you a thousand percent. I don't. <clears throat> This is what the scares me about headed. like democracy. If there's people that are just like, ah, yeah, who cares? And it's like people are dying. They'd be like, ah. But you don't, you don't care about half the shit I'm talking about in other episodes. 
Like, what? You all of a sudden, you you got high and mighty on Adobe's that I don't know about, like in wood. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm giving you your due, and you are well, way more versed in it, way more invested in it, and you spend way more time thinking about it. So I'm like, give it to him. It's weird because I are don't think that I Are you worried that we like both it. have the same vote? Is that what you're worried about? Vote? Mm-hmm. In a democracy, as oh. you put it. If, if it, the vote's on what type of wood should we anim- eliminate from the earth, I'd be like, he's, it's he's Bubonga. <laughs> Bubonga. Hmm. But it's Listen, it's one of those things. I that, have a five string bass that's made from some exotic woods, my friend. So you do you do appreciate wood, the grain? I do. The color. I actually really do. Yeah, the grain, the color. It's one I'm of the things. I'm gonna bring my bass over here. Hold on, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. It is I'm not gonna play it this I'm time. Gonna, Jesus he's Christ! He's just gonna try to keep talking because he's not playing my bass too much. It's one of those things that surprisingly gets into our heads because we like to see wood grains everywhere because it's so natural. It's all around us, and we don't even pay attention to it until we actually so. like, start looking. <clears throat> oh, that's a nice looking base. Oh, dude, it's gorgeous. But like, some of the wood in here is like there's bungalow wood, there's rosewood. I think there's it's inlaid like beautifully. Mm-hmm. There's like different woods, and they make the sound so rich and beautiful. It nothing to do. It doesn't do jack shit to the sound. Yes, it does. Now, does it do as much as it's worth in the cost? Maybe not. No. But. Not the pickups okay. mainly. Sure. The pickups mainly. I agree with you 100%. But, I mean, these guys do. Oh, damn. Trying to play off the mirror. That's like trying to ride a bike when the handles are reversed. Or a dirt bike when you don't know how and you go through a fence, but whatever. See, like, I like that you're not actually using any of the wood to make the sound, though. Like, the frets are metal, the strings are metal, the pickups are metal, magnets. The See, signal that you're listening the, to is not wood. No, no, no. I think the, res- I think the resonation support. actually comes from the wood. So the frets are actually just placeholders. Frets don't make any damn notes, okay? The strings vibrate, right? Mm-hmm. The strings will vibrate on the wood, so we all know that. vibrate on wood. I think they do. Look, this is where they're vibrating from. This point on the bass, the frequency comes from the distance between whatever the hell the tuning head is and here, right? What is the support that gives you the distance, but it doesn't create the vibration? If you're an acoustic, I'll give you acoustic. Let's talk acoustic. Give me an acoustic because a different wood would give you a different vibration, especially timber. You're not even touching on timber, my friend. What's what's timber? T-I-M-B-R-E. Look it up. Like Good timber Lord. wolves? <laughs> no, not the timber wolves. My God, I'm going to send you the. <laughs> I don't know the definition of timber. I just know what timber is. Give me the. Oh, I was thinking. I, I was thinking timber like the wood. <laughs> like oh, timber. No, what is the definition of timber actually? A uh, wooden beam or board used in a building of a house, ship, or other structure, which is what we're talking about. That's so weird. No, that's <laughs> not what it is. <laughs> that's that's wait. Is that what shows up in Google? Yes. <laughs> We're talking about timber, timber here. Music. Trees grown for timber. T- oh, it's T-I-M-B-R-E. <laughs> yeah. Not to be confused with timber. In music, timber, also known as the tone color or tone quality, is the perceived sound quality of a musical note, sound, or tone. Timber distinguishes different types of sound production, such as choir voices and musical instruments, such as stringed instruments, wind instruments, and percussive instruments. It also enables listeners to distinguish different instruments in the same category. So it's what gives it its actual sound, like its sound color, if that makes sense. But the timber because does not the create the timber. No, the wood does. That's the what shape, gives it its timber. The shape does. No, for God's sake, I'm telling you. <laughs> because you can have the same note with a clarinet that you can with a piano that you can with a bass, right? All three instruments are making the same sound. The same note. Because it's all the only thing. It's a frequency. That note is a frequency. We need like It a, can be the exact music frequency with here. all three. No, 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 I'm telling you. All three can have the exact frequency. So technically, it's the exact note. The thing that makes them different is the timber. It's the warmth of the sound, the fact that it comes from wood, the fact that it comes from air, the fact that it's notes on a, a piano vibrating. That makes it, it gives it a different feel, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Timber is feel. 
and you get a different feel from woods. I'll give it to you for um, I forget which was it Stevie Ray Vaughan he had a guitar that was falling apart or maybe it was no it was Willie Nelson Willie Nelson had that special guitar that he would repair all like repeatedly because it had a special no sound to it. You're the music expert, good. Uh, Willie Nelson's guitar. I hope it's wrong. I hope it's so wrong. I hope it's someone else. I hope he it's saved Ray from Charles. And he just didn't know. Trigger is the name of his guitar. Hmm. I think it's like how old is Trigger? Kind of cool that he named it. It was 1969. Summer of 69. Trying to figure out if Hmm. he, when he last played it, played it. Hold on, I'm quiet here. Hmm. It's not a very obvious read. (sighs) <sighs> talk about timber. Talk about brick. You want to hey, talk about we're done with that. the house? Talk about the what we put in the house? Yeah. Metal. Why we care? Let's get into metals. Let's jump to metals. Who cares? Let's go to metal. So they do brick, wood. They're awesome. Metal was next Framing. Level. Framing of the house can be wood or metal, depending on where you are. Really? Yeah. In certain states, like termites, that eat up the wood, they'll make it out of metal instead. Makes sense. Um... What is metal? I don't even know. Just I don't even know either. It's the pieces of the universe that have scattered upon the, like the globe. We just find these metal pieces everywhere and form what alloys? It's a mix of metals. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, yeah, it was. Um, iron was the first one, and then we did iron with coke to make steel. Does that Bronze make sense? Age. Yeah, are we gonna? <laughs> Weaponry all over again? Are we? Is this, <laughs> he laugh coughed. I've never seen a laugh cough. That was incredible. Because I was like, is he coughing or is he laughing? And you're like, <laughs> sorry. But I mean, technology is based on what we do for killing other people or jerking that's, off. It's one of the, that's yeah. one of the top yeah. two. That's yeah. that's two of the top three. The other one is like uh, what we piss into. Like urinal technology is pretty advanced it's pretty, right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's up there. Having sex—that's one of them. Yeah, you kind of jerk off. Same idea. Yeah. And then um, eating. I feel like eating probably drives a lot of technology. Yeah, I'll I'll give you those three. Thank you for giving me those three. You're welcome, Nick. So metals. I don't know. I don't know. It's a big big category. I don't. I don't know. What do you, what do you want to say about metals, Nick? What can you fit in your mouth? Uh, stainless steel. I think most of our utensils really are stainless steel. Yeah, most of our sinks are as well. Most undermount sinks. An undermount sink kind of goes underneath, so you don't have that ugly lip for a top mount sink. Oh my god! The other thing that's important to notice of sinks is that, that as the gauge goes down a number, stainless steel gets stronger. So an eighteen gauge stainless steel sink, garbage. Throw it out. Get it in the trash. 16 gauge, acceptable for your house. Go with it. It's not bad. 14 gauge, mm, Kohler makes some nice 14 gauge stainless steel sink. Let me tell you that, folks. But you probably don't need it. So 16 is probably your sweet spot. You're hitting a home run, boom, 16 gauge stainless steel sink. Go on, Dan. What were you saying? I was just thinking about like the usefulness of metals are that they're strong in certain ways and very light. So it's, malleable. Yeah, it, it spurs technology that allows you to go farther. Cars, trucks, airplanes, rockets. You They're, just named vehicles. Could you name anything else? I mean, really, household? Bridges. Thank you. The Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah. A seventh wonder of the world at one point, an eighth wonder. Uh, it really depends. You have to check previous episodes of the Young Panderers to find out, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It sounded like TJ McConnell scored. Oh, no. I don't know who that is. I have the volume on mine in my ear. Uh, up by 14. All right. We can come back. Do you even watch the games during the season? You know that court? I actually do a little bit. The court is made of wood. What is? The basketball court. The hardwood. Yeah, hardwood. Yeah, I'm actually... I have the game on the lowest sound volume possible, uh-huh. and I can hear the squeak of the shoes. 
That's something you don't get from squeak, anything else. Squeak, 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 yeah. squeak, when they run, squeak. when they're sneakers, <laughs> cutting on the floor, the bounce of the ball. It's it's akin to the sound of ice skates cutting on the ice. You know how they, you don't can't recreate that sound? It's true. It's very unique. It's one of the beautiful, unique sounds of the sport. And I think both sports kind of have it, basketball and hockey. So hmm. shout out basketball. Shout out hockey. Both playoffs happen at the same time. Some medals? You got anything? Yeah. Um, steel beams melt at a certain temperature when jet fuel burns. What happened on 9-11 was that a certain plane flew into it, and it couldn't have melted the steel beams and collapsed the building. Building 12, um, check all your records, check everything extra. There was a, some sort of conspiracy going on where the government didn't know exactly what was going on, or they did. Because I think Building 12 was set to blow from the inside because there's no way jet fuel burns at the right temperature to melt steel beams. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's the government conspiracy is that they put explosives inside the building so they could destroy the building as part of Listen, the plan. The only reason I don't believe in conspiracy theories is because it's like, complex. It's hard. It's way too complex. And there's like – does the conspiracy theory people have like a company? They probably do. Do they have an HR department? They probably do because everyone has to have an HR. So is HR emailing everyone? Did they accidentally email the wrong person? Is there one person who got too many emails? Is there someone who wasn't included in the email? Is there like someone had to sign off twice? Like did they accidentally put the wrong explosives in the building because they weren't reading the second email? That was a correction. It's like, oh, my God, there's so much going on. And it's like, wait, they get everything right perfectly? Yeah, that's not America. That's not bureaucracy. I'm trying There's to see. No way. So George Carlin, Steel. he had a um, a comedy special on September mm -hmm. 9th and September 10th of 2001. Oh, did he? Holy crap! For real? Yeah. Um, guess what the name of the special was? America? No. The title, New York. The title literally Twin is Twin Towers. I kind of like it when a lot of people die. Damn. <laughs> well, I mean, that's <laughs> he recorded it the day before, and then September 11th happened, and he's like, shit. <laughs> so he put that as soon as possible. I mean, should he have to? He literally did it not knowing 9 11 would Does happen. that make it acceptable? It's comedy. So comedy is already supposed to be on the edge of like spoof, yeah, uh, awkward. Kind of funny, don't take it seriously. Yeah. Anyway, steel. Um, when I think with the alloy steel uh, really changed the game. I think steel was the number one proponent of change in manufacturing. And bar steel building. Uh, exactly. I think it has to do with the most height you can build auto too. Automobiles. Yeah, some correctly. tower. Yep. Right, because of the weight. weight <laughs> steel weighed way less than iron, and it was stronger and more malleable. Yeah. It's insane that we have skyscrapers today that are – Do you know who came up with – um? was it steel? Was it Carnegie? Was it Carnegie? Did he combine, well, someone did iron plus Coke. Like – I feel Coke. like the people who are super wealthy had all the materials so they could be like, let's just mix a bunch of shit together, and then they finally get it. Well, no. I feel like they had people who were doing it, and they just – Took credit for it. So there's this guy, Henry Bessemer, who... Bessemer, holy shit! That's actually... That's weird. I haven't heard that name in 15 years, and it just clicked on me when you said that name. It's inventor and engineer for manufacturing steel inexpensively yeah. in 1856. Hmm. The Bessemer converter. And he was knighted. He's Sir Henry Bessemer. He was knighted. Can you imagine that? Like Brienne. Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, dude, that was that was heart touching. It you was. do this. You try and for the longest time, I thought I derailed all our episodes, <laughs> but today I think it's you. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I really do. Trying to make it more interesting, Nick. God trying to make it. the people really love us. Hmm. Well, if they don't love us already by episode one fifty nine, we're screwed. And Brienne of Tarth. Yep. Is it 112? Yep. 
Honestly, I feel like I'm doing episodes for like this is like 800. It feels like work. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot when you don't have to research so, anything. As, as opposed to your research tonight, it's been very good. Thank <laughs> yeah, you, Dan. Thanks. Uh, steel, great, amazing, something that really revolutionized the game. You know what's even more revolutionary and crazy and not as strong as steel? No. Plastic. Ah, oil-based materials. It's kind of bizarre because you have petroleum. Yeah. Petroleum based. Petroleum. I'll say for the petroleum. audience, it's the more true term for someone who researched a little more than you. But <laughs> uh, okay. are they? Yeah, yeah. Is it? I will give you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Damn, bitch. Sixers win. Okay. We're going to game seven. This could be a sad Petroleum. episode later. That's like, fantastic. How much do they win by? Like 17. Okay, now you can stop watching it and I shut it off. Okay, I did. I turned it off. I turned it off. <laughs> There's no volume. I, so I had the game playing. Petroleum is a broader uh, broader spectrum of oil products. Right. Can you? Here's a real question. Could you jerk off with everything petroleum-based? Could I jerk off with it? Yeah, KY jelly? Jelly? Yeah. Petroleum jelly? Correct. This is a question for science. I'm not asking you personally. I'm just asking for science. Could I? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like for anything science. petroleum based. Because I have I'll no do anything for science. what petroleum based is. I don't in even my know. mind, petroleum comes in like a crystal vial that you get from the ground. <laughs> and it's like... Well, kind of like a magic stuff that you can turn into either oil or perfume. It is one of the things that like you have this <laughs> barrel of like gross oil and then like all these products come out the other side that are like plastic water bottles. You get like plastic. microfiber this. and then you get yeah, like, you're like this. toys. And you're like, oh, yeah. this and this. And you're like, okay. Can I J-O with it? Like, you know what I mean? Yes, you can, Nick. Feel free. <laughs> awesome. Sweet. So, uh, plastic, I think, is the most important building. The most product. revolutionary of our time. Because everything it is. Because now- it's even lighter than steel. Now, it's also weaker than steel, but at the point of it being that much lighter, it doesn't matter. What's up? No, I was trying to look for pictures of petroleum, and there's a model covered in. Hell yeah. Oil. Well, it, can only be- it looks like she got in an oil spill and she's trying to act sexy with it. Maybe she did, dude. Let the, looks like let the girl speak her mind. Let her speak her mind. You imagine my YouTube career took off from that? Does that sound like it was in tune? Kind of really. We both sing at the exact same time. <laughs> Say, speaking of her mind. I mean, I just want to hear how it sounds playing back. Yeah. So if we know, we're good. Yeah. No, that we might be good. Sounded pretty good. I mean, it must have been really? great. Who knows? Okay. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we got um, a bunch of shit mm. from oil. Do you know where there's oil naturally occurring? Almost everywhere. Mostly in mm. Arab states that ah, restrict us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should declare war on them or just put our people there and get oil. Yeah, OPEC. Never mind. I start to say that. But we also have, there's so it's like the cost of extracting the oil too, because their oil just is like easy to suck out of the ground. So. <laughs> Can I tell everyone I thought you were doing a cocaine reference? <laughs> I was going to do a milkshake their, reference. Their oil is very. <laughs> easy to sniff out of the ground yeah hmm. so it's a cost like but canada and the united states actually have like shale oils so it's it's harder to get to but we have an immense amount of it so once the cost makes sense of going after it we're gonna be in a pretty good position worth it. we're gonna Not be oil it. kings well, nick in 100 years maybe our sons will i hope not I hope my kid's poor and he has to learn how to do things the hard way. I can't wait for our kids to be so rich they can make up a religion and then enforce it on other people. (laughs) 
It's on Panders, the religion. <laughs> they would definitely not show this clip right here. Can you imagine if they were like, follow the Unpanders, and we were doing a joke about the religion of the Unpanders and how ridiculous it would seem? Well, I also think that, like, since we use it as a fuel for everything, that the byproducts are necessary to create something from. So, like, if you didn't create stuff out of the byproducts of making gasoline, we'd be like, wasting a yeah, hell of a lot. We'd have, we'd have pools, it wouldn't be worth pools. it. Yeah. So, like, people, like, probably had to figure out a way to make byproducts work for us. And you can make a byproduct out of everything. Make a byproduct out of garbage. Start burning garbage. for. That does exist. I know. We've actually touched on this in the garbage episode. Mm-hmm. But but it's expensive, I feel like. You have to get the garbage up to a certain heat. Yeah. And you have to – it's very precarious because the value you can get from it is, like, right on the cost of – like procuring it and burning it. Mm-hmm. But in the future, when we run out of all the raw materials that we're uh, scavenging uh, from the earth, all the mm-hmm. resources, we'll probably be like, well, shit, we have to do and it just now. Just go to the Amazon and cut down all the guns. <laughs> they got everything. So here's my thing. Here's my thing. You want to do this episode because you love wood, right? Yeah. The grain of wood. Is, I think we missed something. But you didn't there's something get into unique. it at all. You didn't even touch on wood at all. And I want you to touch as much wood as you can. I'm touching it right now. In this part of the episode. <laughs> is it a wood desk? Yeah, I have a wooden desk. It's one of the things that you all, I mean, I've always had like a certain wood grain around me. I don't know that. Yeah, wood wood fetish. I know. Yeah. Go ahead. I, go into it. I Seriously, don't, let your wood fetish loose. I really have no idea. You've never when it comes, taken a dump and I, like stared at like a, a fake door that's like, you know, pressed – uh, paper mesh, the cardboard. This is going to seem weird. You have. In my old house in Northeast Philly, um, the basement door had wood grain in it, and mm-hmm. one of the wood yeah. grains looked like Vigo, the bad guy from Ghostbusters 2. Huh. So you little, know the painting? The painting. It's like a Rorschach test. No, 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 no. It looked like him. Like, there's no... It was kind of like him. Like, if anyone saw it, they'd be like, is that Vigo from Ghostbusters 2? There's a really tiny mouth. Giant. I mean, I mean, it was this big total. Yeah, he did have a big bar. <laughs> the knock yeah. on my guy. But it was a living thing. Wait, like, is that what they said? In the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, something like that. But it's a living thing. Mm-hmm. That like, it's crazy to think that this is going to provide me. Like it provided me a, with, as a desk for. It was my desk for. It still is my desk. For like 15 years, and like. It had to be, like, grown and pieced together by something that was living. If we didn't have this, like, if we didn't have trees, what would this desk be made out of? It would, Plastic? It would be Steel? Concrete? Brick? They all sound awful. Doesn't that sound awful? They do. They do. <laughs> so, this brings me into um, granite and marble, actually. Sure. Quartz. No, quartz is man-made. Hmm. Let's not talk about quartz then. All right, so I'm going to break it down because I have to do this for every customer that walks into my store. Used to. Okay, sell me a, a marble. Most when you come in, you tell me, I want to upgrade I my kitchen. I want to spend a lot of money, Nick. Uh, I'm, I'm tired God, okay. of looking at the same stuff. So what Give it starts at is I have something called marble. Marble is very porous. It will stain if you look at it the wrong way. We do not offer warranties, man. Marble starts at level six, okay? Levels are just price. Don't worry about it. Level six. I can do you 50 square feet for like five grand, but keep in mind, I don't know for warranty. This is going to stain. It's very porous. If you put stuff on it, it will etch. It's soft, okay? It's beautiful. It's white. It has gray veins or blue veins. It won't last a long time. It will not. It will wear terribly. Marble wears terribly. But it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful substance on earth. So its durability up, value is inverse. Exactly. With Pretty marble, fragile. at least. Right. Yeah. Next up, I have quartzite. Quartzite is a natural stone. It's limestone that's been recalcified, folks. Say it with me. Recalcified. It's shiny as shit. It looks like crystals. And we can't do certain edges to it. You want an OG edge? We can't do it. Is I'm it sorry. Is it like a geode? Geode's a funny word. Um, that, it's that like made geode, up. Yeah. It, yeah, it looks like the crystals in a geode. Sure. It looks like, but it can't be made that way because it, physically mm-hmm. it's impossible. It's just Correct. pressurized 
something Correct. carbon. It's we didn't green. mention carbon. No, limestone. 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 We didn't get into that. Is yet. limestone carbon? I think limestone is old shellfish. Old fish, right? Well, everything is old shellfish carbon. Anyway, um, it quartzite? doesn't stain as easily as marble quartzite. It's a natural stone. It's beautiful. The Dolce Vita. We're talking. Uh, what's another real popular one? No one ever owned once. Oh my god! You've forgotten already. No, I just forget the one that everyone wants. Uh, Granite. It's very white. No, no, no. The 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 quartzite everyone wants. Extra sparkle. No, stop. God, <laughs> that's funny. So, next step up is granite, folks. Granite comes. It's igneous rock. Strong. It has various colors represented throughout it, okay? We got dark. We got light. We got light. We got dark. We got a lot of chaos. We got a lot of motion. We got a lot going on. I do not have a white granite. If you come into my shop and you want to see a white granite with waves that look like marble, go F yourself. You're probably a white lady in like the in your 40s and you think you're going to find a level one granite. Haircut. Oh, my God. They're the worst people in the world. And they're like, let's just check the granites. Damn, I know what you're looking for. You're not going to find it in granite. Granite has movement. Granite has chaos. Granite has different elements. But granite is beautiful. Okay? Naturally occurring stone. Still porous, but not as porous as marble. Okay? Gorgeous. Natural stone. It's ah, makes me get hard just thinking about it. <laughs> I wish this was your real pitch. Last one. Oh, I almost say these exact things. Super hard. Last one is granite. quartz. Quartz is a man-made product. 90% stone, 10% resins and polymers that make it impervious to staining. Random crap. Impervious? Not impervious. You leave red wine on it for three days, it will stain in, but much better. We offer warranties. Quartz is man-made. It always looks the same every time we get it in, okay? I don't have them all in because there's five companies we deal with that have 50 variants each. I'd have to have 250 slabs back here. Do you think I have 250 slabs? I don't. I'm going to save you the trouble. Quartz looks the same every time. It's man-made. Might it look manufactured in 5-10 years? Probably, bitch. It's probably going to look fake as hell in 10 years. Okay? Granite, which might not be as hot right now, will always look beautiful because it's naturally occurring. It takes thousands of years to make in the earth. Boom. I don't care if it doesn't look white with white veins and all your stupid shit. It's a naturally occurring stone. Thank you, granite. Get so, you some granite, folks. Do you sell Corian, too? No, we stopped selling Corian. Because <laughs> it was a thing. Corian's, like, impervious. Oh, my yeah. God. It's you can, like, chop nuclear waste on a Corian countertop, and it won't give you cancer. Yet people don't give a shit about that. Because it looks ugly. Yeah, it does look ugly. It looks dated. Oh, it's it's a look thing. Yeah, and the value to something is how rare and unique it is because you want to be the snowflake, right? So hold on. That's so weird that you say that. So my granites, I have a level 1 granite, level 20 granite. The price difference being $48 a square foot to $318 a square foot, okay? Mm -hmm. The thing that, that drives that price is rarity. My favorite level 20, Blue Bahia Granite. It's blue. It's naturally occurring, and it has dark blue veins. Blue Bahia, B-A-H-I-A-A. -A -A. I was thinking about the and Lapis so Lazuli. Cool. Oh, Lapis Lazul. Lazul. Lazul, I call it. Whatever you want to pronounce it however the hell you want. Um, so what happens with these natural occurring materials is the rarity dictates the price. So it's not necessarily how strong it is, how good it holds up, how awesome it is at building. It's just this is how rare this substance is. So spell it again. Blue. Blue and then Bahia. B-A-H-I-A. -A. Oh, yeah. I like that. It's it, one of my favorite stones we sold. It kind of reminds me of my guitar. Oh, my man's trying to do a humble brag. Ooh, a little bit. Ooh, it's a little dusty, a little dusty. It's okay.
Ah, he's going to play a little bit there. So that, that leads us into um, Carbon. You going to go touch Carbon? What is touching Carbon, dude? Carbon's like, like the most important part of living. Yeah. Of life. Oh, speaking of which, her, just to end this. Don't look for granite or quartz that looks like marble. You're a dumbass. Don't expect to spend the cheapest price to get something that looks awesome. Don't waste my time and say granite when it's granite. Okay? And lastly, get some natural coloration. Just friggin' do it. That's nature. It took thousands of years to make. Just friggin' buy it. Okay? Use promo code um promo code <laughs> ump ump your mom I was going to say some really bad words yeah you stopped I stopped <laughs> people would be able to I would have liked that. it but I know the universe would come down on you pretty hard what is going on in your back it is raining like a bastard outside that's rain yeah. holy crap I thought people were shoveling <laughs> snow <laughs> It's Holy been, crap! It's, it's impressive. So, like, carbon is carbon is essential carbon. for life forms. Our, our life forms, uh, maybe our life forms. We touched on this in an episode with a bio major. So, yeah, what's her name? Randy Register. I forget her name. Anyway, Suze. Suze? How about Suze? Do you think? Is that yeah? Fine? Do you think? Is she single? Yeah, I think so. So the um. Carbon is a, the only stat I have on carbon. Is carbon made up of ev- everything has carbon. Living organisms. I think every single living organism has carbon in it. Is it valence shell minus two, right? It's like the uh, second valence shell is all the way filled. I don't know that two. it means anything to anybody else. But it's... I mean... Is it it's, thunder? Yeah, it's thunder. So. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> we got to end this episode. You're going to hell in so, a handbasket. Yeah, it's Go the ahead. strength of the bonds that carbon creates and the variety of bonds that it can make. That makes carbon it so can. essential for mixing and matching and making okay. a human being. Carbon's the most important material. It bonds with water, it bonds with this, it bonds with this, it bonds with pretty much everything that needs two electrons, folks. Yeah. You got two electrons you want to dance with? You want to dance with the devil at night? You can F with some carbon. True. Seriously. That's why carbon is one of the most popular building blocks of life, they say. Mm-hmm. Correct? The building blocks are like the timber of life. And carbon... Surprisingly, Different temper. actually, is wood, right? Because wood is made of carbon. I think it is, but I'm not. I mean, you better check that one because I have no idea. Well, I'm just going with yeah, sure. Fifty percent carbon. Hmm. Mostly carbon. What's the other carbon 50%? capture. Well, they say the Amazon rainforest is like. They thought it was carbon capture, like as you're burning the wood, you're releasing carbon, causing climate change and all sorts of awful things. So that's why I think even like your stones, like they say, like, can you condense carbon into a stone? Like that would be pretty sweet if you could have like carbon countertops. Is that such a thing? I have no idea. This is above my pay grade, folks. This, I think you should open up a store selling carbon. This is a thing, actually. Actually, do concrete countertops, I think. Or is that cement? No, I'm not sure. Carbon fiber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you and I both like this is going to be dated in mm-hmm. 10 years. Carbon Tim steel. Wheat. I think we've seen these before. Anyway, um, the where was I going to go? Oh, so like building all of the stuff that we like. The stuff that we build, it's a possession, but we build a house to house our possessions. And as Americans, it's a possession to hold our possessions. Yeah. Do you know how many square feet your house is? Mm -mm. Do you have a ballpark estimate? How many rooms it has? Mm -hmm. Can you count the rooms? Do you have. I'm just under an acre square um, foot. Lot lot size. Property. Right, right, right. Uh. It's like split level. You can't count the rooms? I'm counting them now. <laughs> Basement computer. So I have like 2,500 square feet in my house. And honestly... I'm probably at like 2,000. I have no idea. I made that, that up based right. on 
I've never been to your house. Isn't that weird? That is and you've never been to my house. house. Ah, so we don't even house. know each yeah. other. Yeah. So bizarre. You, around you wouldn't have seen all the stuff I built out of wood. So I have like... Well, it's, it's, so, the whole point of this episode is wood, and you didn't get into I know. what you build with wood. So Don't you do like... Woodworking? Entertainment? Yeah, I built an entertainment cabinet. Show. Yeah. I customized it to fit exactly what I wanted it in. Like two computers. You had like the you know media center stuff in the middle, and then you have all the <laughs> old media DVDs that no longer are needed. I had like a tray that slid out. I made that myself. I also made like a little booth thing and I made cabinets and all sorts of stuff. Woodworking is one of those weird things that's very uh, relaxing, but also it gets in your hands, like literally, like it dries your hands out and then it gets like, you're supposed to wear a mask because it can kill you. Like if you get too much wood fiber and pulp and dust in your nose, like it will cause bad things. You will never ride a dirt bike. Uh, I have in the past a mini bike. Quads. You ever rode a quad? You know what a quad is. It's a four. A you four know. Wheel. Have you ridden one? No, I probably could. I mean, dirt bikes <laughs> yeah. way harder. <laughs> you, you, I don't know. I don't know for you. I took the harder one and yeah. broke my leg to do it. I mean, I could do the easier one probably. Yeah. Hmm. So there's a, yeah, there's a, a passion to it. I think hmm. it... You're building these right. things, building these things thing. is a source of pride. You get to a point where I it's agree. more functional, though. They're like, if you can't build it to be functional and beautiful, you're just like, nah, I don't need to do that. It's a waste of time. Oh, we didn't even talk about IKEA, like the engineering of building things, like the base functionality that's provided with the cheapest cost. Oh no, one second, I have to really hope I didn't get a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> ah, it's awesome. Okay, cool. Not a dick pic. So it wasn't a dick pic. It's like, do you have any IKEA furniture? You have those sh- do. side tables it took and the so long to coffee make table, a cabinet, bookcase. It was a bookcase and a billy? also uh, you get a billy. Uh, what? A billy bookcase. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest seller of bookcases ever. In the world? In the world. Are you basing this on fact? I feel like you're just kind of I'm basing it around. on Ikea's brochure. God damn it. We can't base it on Ikea's brochure. You're still missing the point. I wanted you to get hard or like get weird about like wood grains and how beautiful You've never like rubbed your hand on a wood are. grain before and like thought... Like this is the the snowflake. No, it's like there's no way that like anyone could recreate a wood grain exactly. It's like a fingerprint. No, and what you're and no, it's and like slicing people in exactly half and like expecting them to look the same. If you're a serial killer, <laughs> I was just about to say no, but this is like how I think of my job at a marble factory. But that's the loudest. It's the loud. Never heard. Yeah. <clears throat> But each stone. <laughs> Shittiest episode ever. <laughs> you knew it was. Come on. I mean, yeah, but it's enjoyable to me. Pictures, playoffs. It's enjoyable to me as well. But like the IKEA bookcases aren't like wood pulp glued together. It's exactly like your countertop that's like Corian or the other bullshit quartz. Yeah. So like it's a man-made product to do their thing, engineered to be man-made. a certain thing. It's like engineered wood. It's like layers of wood. Plywood. The like building cool. material is layers of wood put together. What's the soft wood? Uh, Balsa? Mm-mm. Real soft. Like fake wood. Uh, engineered wood. Soft. And there's no... I almost said plywood. It's not plywood. It's... um. <laughs> Balsa? I have no idea. You have to give me a scenario, context. It's a wood. It's soft. It's uh, softer than you punch uh, a hole other in woods. it. It's like some bookcases, some. Are you over the <laughs> rain? <laughs> You're in the rain. All right. <clears throat> Let's kind of go towards our wrapping it up. I want to do possessions. So- 
That's so fine. like we build these giant houses so that we could house all our possessions, our drum kits, our guitars, our computers, um, <laughs> our bases, our doors. Like, if you lived without possessions, do you think you'd be happy? You'd be like a, essentially a Buddhist. Like, you'd give up all your possessions. Would you be? Yeah, I'd be fine. You'd be fine. You'd be fine not having a computer, a phone. What would you do all day? You'd find your inner zen? Your... Not necessarily. I'd find something to do. I'd get really good at building caves. I'd get really good at doing my wife. Like, there's things you can do. Master You sense. don't have other... Oh, you can be really good at masturbating. Can you imagine if you're the best masturbator in the world? Tantric? Keep in mind... No, yeah, I mean, there is someone out there who's the world's best masturbator. Right? No, do not Google world's best masturbator. <laughs> God damn. Longest There's orgasm. No Isn't it huh. pigs? The longest orgasm in mammals is one of the domestic pig. So scruff. Hey, God domestic, damn it, I'm good. Domestic, domesticus. On average, an or- orgasm lasts 30 minutes, minutes and can last as long as 90 <sighs> minutes. I'm jealous of a pig for once. 90 minute orgasm. Hmm. Not what you said about your wife earlier. That's so weird. <laughs> I'm jealous of a pig. <sighs> and then I clicked on something else. Okay. Um, Did you get... Was it pig <laughs> sex link? I could just... Yeah. Sue Scrubs. Was her? Wait, was her? I'm not going to discuss this on the podcast. No, I just want to know if there was. I didn't ask if you clicked on them. I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Definitely not. No. Wait, do you want to hear the funniest thing I heard today? Does it have to do with hot dogs? No, it was a different podcast. Hot dogs. Get your hot dogs. What? <laughs> Come down to the bit, and I know I hate them. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you imagine <laughs> if. Uh, You know, uh, like an eight-year-old makes a pamphlet for their mom on Mother's Day, which is coming up, or when this is released, it might be next Mother's Day, so I'm going to be right on. And it's like, hey, free neck rub, free back massage, free kisses, free hugs, and it's like the kid writing out a coupon. Uh Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. Whatever. The dad flips one in. And they they give, well, no, 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 no. They just, they give it to the parent, right? Like, for the holiday parent doesn't care it it's lost in their possession and a neighborhood pedophile picks it up <laughs> <laughs> and he brings it up to the house and he says i'm here for my free neck massage from your son and someone's like this is disgusting you can't be in here sir sir get out get out sir and then he Legally brings it to binding. court <laughs> he goes to court and before a judge, the judge is like, I'm sorry, it's legally binding. And in front of the parents, this eight year old has to hug and kiss a stranger who is like, mm-hmm. oh, God. <laughs> I think that's the funniest bit I ever heard. And I was like, oh, good shit. Anyway, uh,. <laughs> And then they made they made a joke that other pedophiles in the area might start counterfeiting kids' coupons. Oh, so there's someone who's an expert with an eyeglass that has to like check these things. Be like, that's not his handwriting. This is someone else. This is someone else. This is a counterfeit. He does not have to hug the stranger. But it's actually like someone else's hugs and kisses. Two pedophiles found each other's scatterfits. Damn, damn. (laughs) But either way, I thought that was the best bit I had (laughs) heard in probably weeks. And I was like, "Uh, Billy, you're going to have to kiss this man because you made a promise. Dad, I don't want to. You made a promise. You're going to have to kiss this man. Uh, this is a coupon. You can't just write these willy nilly, son. You gotta, you gotta listen to your promise. You gotta kiss this man. You you gotta give him a kiss on the lips, okay? You gotta kiss him on the lips. 
<laughs> Holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, Shit. man. Oh, damn. We're talking about wood tonight. <laughs> Is that what we're talking about tonight? God damn. Uh-huh. I ruined uh-huh. the episode. Uh-huh. So, folks, if you're tuning in just right now, or you fast forwarded to this moment somehow, we talked about wood. Brick, building material, metal, steel, plastic, all these Marble. things we build with. Granite, granite, quartzite, don't quartz. Do don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Please don't. White granite. <clears throat> In fact, go to King of Prussia and ask for white granite. Say you want to tour the facility for two hours. <laughs> I'd like to waste the salesman's time. How much will that cost? Nothing. Oh. Part Hold right. on. There's Do you know there were, um, there were um, designers who come to our place? Oh, they mix and match they everything, and then they go, okay, thank you. I don't need any of that. Did you hear that? I heard like a weird mouse noise. Yeah, it's my kid's piano, but I don't know where it is, and I don't know why it just set off suddenly. This is anyway. the source of Chucky. We're dead. <laughs> They're designers. That's someone who charges an, a couple or a person like forty dollars an hour. More. Yeah, way more money than eighty dollars an hour, hundred twenty an hour, and says we have to find the right fit. They would come to our shop. They don't care who their sales rep is, and they just want to tour the slab yard because we have the biggest one on the East Coast. Just let them back there all by themselves. Oh, it doesn't matter who they're. They could waste your time or nobody's time for two hours, not pick anything. And then leave so that the designer charged their client like 300 bucks for that day. And me, I get to walk them around and tell them about the levels and the prices. And For me, that. that's enjoyable to see all the variety of stuff that could be in my house. I don't know why someone oh, would trade that no, for no, somebody else. For like, Some people don't give a shit, mm-hmm. but they pay a lot of money to have it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Just get the cheapest shit possible. No, not the cheapest shit. Jesus Christ. Most adorable. Like a Corian. Level level three and above. Okay. I'm gonna level three is where things start opening up. I'm gonna set up shop right outside trying to sell Corian. Like this shit's ugly, but it's adorable. Cheaper shit. Cheaper <laughs> shit. Get your cheap shit. Get your value. Get your He's value. Screaming. Got your value. value. <laughs> People. <laughs> anyway, folks, we touched on everything. All the, Carbon, all the builder universe, builder grade stuff. Architects, they have to have passion, certain angles, wood, uh, grain. Oh my god, timber, wood. timber. Cranes. We talked about timber. Oh my seven goodness, seven times. Frequency Justin Timberlake. Nothing to do with timber wood. boots. Timber metal this, metal timber that. Metal. Metal. We talked about your kids. We talked about your kids' lives. We talked about knives against your kids' lives. And you have to watch these episodes and donate to our Patreon. Or we're going to find you. We're going to go into your homes, whether your kids are there or not. And we're going to hit that subscribe button, folks. You hit that subscribe <laughs> button. Anyway, hope everyone has a great night. I hope everyone's feeling fine. And I hope everyone's feeling their wood. Feel your wood. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Feel Where's it. your wood? Feel it. Feel your wood. I'm feeling it. Mm. Uh, have we, yeah, we like a lot of things, especially we like you. like you, folks. We like you a, a lot. lot. This is nuts. Tune in next time when we talk about just your wood, okay? Good night. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.